Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be my Thursday morning beach walk on Vanderbilt Beach up in North Naples, Florida. I was having some technical issues with my live feed this morning, so I figured I'd record a little walk up the beach, start down here by the Ritz-Carlton, walk up to the north, see how far I can get with what battery I have left here. My goal is to get up to um, oh, having a senior moment, Gulf Point of Naples, the timeshare. People have been wanting to see that. I'm only gonna get up to about 78 today. It's kind of muggy, kind of humid. We had a lot of rain last night between two and four oh, this morning, between two and three. Here in North Naples, the wind really picked up. The wind's coming out of the southwest, kicking up the surf. Look at all these chairs for the Ritz. Somebody said they have a thousand chairs they can put out. I believe it. It's a lot of beach chairs. We're about half hour away from low tide here. Water temperatures oh, right around 75. Partly cloudy skies. Behind me to the southeast, the clouds are pretty thick. I do have blue sky though above me. Right now that sun's kind of hidden behind him. Veil of clouds. I'll pan around here. You can see it, but it is behind the clouds. Hit that share button if you're liking what you're seeing. Make some comments. So this is actually the very north end of the beach of Pelican Bay. And then just ahead of me is where Vanderbilt Beach starts. Wish you were out here with me. It's not a bad morning. Just because that sun isn't out shining bright doesn't mean it's a bad morning. It's always a good morning. Or the beach. I missed being out here yesterday morning. I woke up with a little bit of a fever and a sore throat and I actually didn't wake up until about 7.30. Normally I'm up at sometimes this morning it was 3 o'clock. Still got a little bit of that sore throat thing happening, but the fever's gone, thank goodness. I was a little worried there with this RSV and all the other stuff going around. You can see how heavy those clouds are down there, look at that. There is a 15% chance of rain in the forecast, but I don't think we're going to see any up here. If we do, it's going to be brief. Then it's supposed to cool down tomorrow. Got a cold front coming through. Tomorrow, temperature's probably going to be in the upper 50s when I come out to the beach. Hopefully I'll get that live feed issue taken care of. a little brighter. Clouds thinning out a little bit in front of the sun. Over there you can see the tower crane sticking up. That's where they're building the Ritz-Carlton residences. That's on the corner of Gulf Shore and Vanderbilt. Probably this time next year you'll see some big high-rise condos sticking up over there. 
a combination of high rise and low rise. They're building a new marina on the back bay. There you go, a little sun just came out. I have been noticing some erosion as I've been walking back and forth on the beach this morning, some fresh erosion. Still quiet here. Not a whole lot of people out here yet. Like our Vanderbilt Beach, nice and quiet. Look at all that empty beach. It's been busy here though. Boy, spring breakers. This whole month has been busy at the beach, March. I can kind of consider this my beach report and beach walk. I love all that blue sky. Man. I love the contrast between the white clouds and the blue sky. Straight above me, lots of blue sky. Over to my right is the drop-off area for the south end of Vanderbilt Beach, what is officially known as Vanderbilt Beach Park by Collier County Parks and Rec. down closer to the water here again. Give it another hour or so and start seeing more people out here. People enjoying the little waves, kids, adults, kids at heart. I don't know how much storage space I have left on my phone. That's the other issue, battery and storage space. See how far I get up here. There's a lot of erosion up ahead of me here. Up by the Floridian Club and Gulf Point. I shared a little of that yesterday morning. A little video of that that I recorded. We're here on my right, the Vanderbilt Beach Resort and Turtle Club. Under those palm trees there in between the taller buildings. Good news for the Turtle Club. It's definitely going to be opening in April. Give you a little closer look at it. Sometime mid to late April is when the Turtle Club restaurant is expected to reopen. So keep our fingers crossed for that. 
they're going to have a big mural. They're going to be working on a beautiful mural just to the on the south end of the, this side of the building. The Turtle Club. Love those coconut palms. All their outdoor seating. Probably don't need umbrellas today. <laughs> Back out to the wide angle there. See, I can do things like that when I'm recording. I can't do that during my live feeds. Again, hit that share button. If you're enjoying the walk, something different. I couldn't get any stars today for live feeds. I got a couple during my several attempts that I made. So if you appreciate my efforts, stars are greatly appreciated. You get a penny for each star that you send in my Facebook videos. On the beach does present some obstacles when it comes to doing live feeds you know I'm at the mercy of my cellular connection there is there is Wi-Fi out here in the condos but can't do a live feed just walking and bouncing back and forth from Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi so I just have to rely on the cellular connection and this morning it was kind of yucky from T-Mobile, in and out all morning. The Vanderbilt Beach and Harbor Club, I know some of you, some of our friends stay here. It's still kind of barren in the back of this place. Give you a peek over the fence. Still really no landscaping back there. That's what a lot of these places still look like. But hey, at least the building's still standing. <laughs> All of their beach umbrellas and chairs out here. You've seen those in many of my videos. These are all Cabana Dan's chairs and umbrellas, by the way. He has the contract to set these up and provide them with shade and comfortable beach loungers. If you need an umbrella, Cabana Dan's down at the south end of Vanderbilt Beach. Chairs and umbrella rental. Like I said, today, probably not an umbrella kind of day. Maybe a couple minutes later when that sun works its way around out towards the gulf might clear up. There's another look behind the buildings. See how barren it is? All the vegetation still gone. Well, I think we're going to make it up to Gulf Point. Just give you a quick peek at the back of that. I can't get around to the front because it's fenced off now. A couple chairs and umbrellas waiting for you right there. If 
to La Playa Beach Resort sticking up ahead of us there, that tall skinny building in the distance. That's about the middle of Vanderbilt Beach. Gulf Point coming up on our right here. I will, I'll take you around front of it. I just got to do a little video editing for that magic to happen. A lot of folks have been asking about Gulf Point, so please, please, please give this a share with your Gulf Point friends. I want to get you down by that water one last time before showing you Gulf Point. I love my beach, the wind, the waves, absolutely glorious. Like I always say, I do really honestly wish you were here with me. Big drop off there. This is where we've had a lot of erosion all along in here. Looks like last night's high tide and waves kind of smoothed it off a little bit, but it's still pretty good drop off up here where you start seeing the beach chairs from the Floridian Club. All right, let's go take a look at Gulf Point of Naples. Not the best lighting out here, but better than nothing. Remember who's doing the walking for you, my friends. Don't forget about those stars on Facebook. YouTube tips, Facebook tips. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post here. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. You can see there's not much going on in the back here. pool, the decking, everything's still gone here. No landscaping. I can get you in a little closer. You'll be looking through the fence, I'm sorry. But remember that water was lapping up to the second floor here. Still no walls up downstairs there. Still kind of look right through where the community room was here. We look down the other side here. That's who's doing the job, Elias Brothers. See, it just doesn't look like they're moving too fast to me, but, but they are making some progress. There's a lot of work to be done that we really can't see from out here, especially all that electrical work. I'll take you around to the front of the building here in a second through the magic of editing. there is work taking place so that's the good news for you Gulf Point folks all right I'll take you out front you got to figure out where to get out there how to get out to the street <laughs> okay here we are out on Gulf Shore looking at the front of the building as you can see, they have a construction fence encircling the entire property. So I really 
really can't give you a good look at the sides of the building. I'll take you over to the other side though and give you a peek over there. It's about the best I can do for the front entrance there. I'll take you over to the other side. Offshore Drive again. This would be the south side of the building. Got some palm trees in the way from the adjoining property here. Like I said, they're making progress here. It's hard to really see from the outside what's going on. I mean, there is a lot of work to do on the inside. So looks can be deceiving sometimes. Like I've said several times, the good news is work is going on. Things are starting to happen here. So think positive. Look at the bright side of things. Ooh, that wind really blowing right through here. It's like a vortex between the buildings. Well, there you have it. My beach walk, my beach report, my golf point update, all in one. Hey, thanks for watching. Remember who took the extra time to do this for you. Send some stars if you're watching on Facebook. Tips, hugely appreciated. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can also find me on Venmo and Apple Pay. Hey, thanks for watching. Tally ho, my friends. Tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.